Hello and welcome to the Calmcast, a time to feel calm and think clearly. I'm Claire Downham, the Queen of Calm, a transformational life coach. I was a burnt out head teacher who finally made the journey to calm after years of trying and I want to prevent you from having to do the same. The Calm Cast is a series of short explorations, gently guiding you back to your natural state, which is calm and clarity. Just listen like you would listen to music, with an open mind and curiosity. There's nothing else to do. Now let's relax into today's episode. So today, the weather system of the mind is is my topic and I have I've always spoken about how the weather is such a beautiful metaphor for 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 how we are really in terms of our thinking and our feelings but I thought it'd be really interesting to just go a little deeper with that and I want to start with just you just taking a moment, really, um, to consider how your weather system is right now. Is it is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it stormy? Just noticing that can be really helpful, particularly when we notice it with a real understanding of what our weather system is ever telling us. Because there is a huge level of confusion here when we consider our weather system. And that is thinking that our weather system comes from anywhere else but us. If you have a stormy weather system today, and it looks like it's coming from anywhere else but you, then that that can lead to confusion. Because it can lead to us thinking that we need to do something out there in the world or do something to fix ourselves in order to, to address our internal weather system. The weather, which, you know, mostly for us in the UK is is created via the presence or lack of clouds <laughs> is is this beautiful organic moving thing and it is a stunning metaphor for for how you are made as a human being how your psychological makeup is because first of all Your weather system is is beautifully unique to you. Only you have your weather system. It's a bit like all the countries of the world and even, you know, within, when I talk to people from the US, how how different their weather is from one, one state to the next. And we in the UK have a particular weather system <laughs> that that seems to produce quite a lot of rain. Um, but so it's all unique. You're unique. You have your own weather system within you that is working all the time. And that system, that that metaphor is really a beautiful metaphor for how you are thinking and therefore how you are feeling. So that's the first thing. Your weather system, i.e. your thinking, is unique to you. Nobody has the same weather system as you. And that's really helpful when we come to be around other human beings, which is kind of part of our life, isn't it? I don't think I'm speaking to any hermits today. But, we, we, you know, we interact with other humans and they have a different weather system to us. And I I once did a, a, a session like this about, and how it would be really helpful just for a day to see everybody else's weather system and realise that everybody's got stuff going on, every single one of us, and how much compassion could come from that. So that's the first thing. Your weather system is unique to you. The second thing is that your weather system is variable. It changes, doesn't it? We we all have ups and downs and good days and bad days 
and well even not even days are there that tends to be moments good moments and, and not so good moments that's part of this human experience that we are having all the time and that's okay and and it has you may have noticed the propensity to pass just like the weather just like today I can look out my window and it's actually very clear out there today but you know, there'll probably be some clouds along along later and then they'll pass and then there'll be something different all the time because there's, there's always that gentle breeze up there, isn't there? The weather is passing and moving and changing. And and your thoughts and feelings have the, the they, they do the same as long as you don't interfere too much. If you think it's your job to, to force yourself through something or not feel something or squash something down, then, then of course that will cause a disruption to a beautiful natural system and, and stop it working. And, and I liken this to the idea that, you know, if in the UK we decided we really had had enough of the weather being inclement <laughs> and changeable, we could put a big somehow, put a big probe, I'm sure this is actually possible, um, to put a big probe up into the sky and try and zap the clouds away. But I wonder how much, how many problems we'd create for ourselves then in terms of the environment. It's just not worth going there, is it? You've got that system inside you and it has a natural ability to pass without you actually needing to do anything at all. So that's I don't know if that's the second or third thing, <laughs> floss track, but never mind. We'll go on. The next thing, it's the best thing to say now, um, is that even when it's a really, really cloudy day, the sun is still there. And for me, that is pointing to something that is so often missed in the world of, of mental health. And that is mental health. That's what's often missed because. It's there all the time. There will sometimes be so much noise in your head that you cannot remember that it's still there. But when that noise passes, you will reconnect to, to your innate well-being. And I almost think that just by knowing that it's there, it is, is, is just knowing it's there is so helpful because when you know something is there, it's reassuring, isn't it? And, and it helps you to reconnect with it if you know it's there. It's like here, it, it can rain for a few days at a time, but we do know the sun's still there. And, and that's great, isn't it? Because that's keeping us alive and making the plants grow and everything else that the sun does and providing us with light, of course. It's always there is the sun, despite, despite the clouds. And your well-being, your innate resilience and confidence and calm and clarity and love and wisdom and all those other things, it is always there. It never, ever, ever goes away. And sadly, the, the misunderstanding that the sun can be somehow damaged or chipped away or, or removed in some way by life, it is causing people a substantial amount of discomfort I think and suffering suffering is a better word than discomfort actually because people are have lost sight of of who they really are and it is really in the losing sight of that that we become lost in in the world of of trying to fix ourselves so what, what to do when you're in a storm of some description, I think might be helpful to point to. And I guess the answer is whatever occurs to you. From the place of knowing that you are feeling thought in the moment. If, it, if you're getting the idea that you need to do something outside of you to get rid of the feeling you're experiencing, that's a misunderstanding about where that feeling is coming from. Your feelings are coming from thought in the moment. You've just got a weather front passing through. Clouds, when you get up to them, you can just walk through them. 
or fly through them. We've all experienced flying through them. Most of us haven't experienced walking through them, <laughs> suspect. But but there's nothing to them. They're just water droplets. And and when we start to see our thinking in that way, it, it really does just melt away and the feelings with it. So when you're in a thought storm, take a moment to be aware. Where, where Which time zone is your thinking in? That's the first thing that I find really helpful. Where, where is my thinking? A, what time zone and physically where is it? is it? Is it thinking about what's here right now or am I thinking about somebody else's content of somebody else's head or or something that, that's been said somewhere outside of me? And, and when we just ask those questions and, and we notice the feeling, that can be truly transformational. That can reset the system really quite quickly. And I love what Eckhart Tolle says about this. The moment you notice you're not in the present, you will naturally fall into the present. You can't not. So, yeah, use that information from your weather front to make decisions about what to do next, just like you would if it was raining outside and you'd think to maybe wear a raincoat or carry a brolly. Thank you so much for listening. There's nothing to do now, but bring some awareness to how this is working out in your life. Listen regularly to experience longer and longer periods of calm. This has been the Calmcast with Claire Downham, Queen of Calm. Take care and keep listening.